Hey, how's it going, number one? I have another new product to review today for you. This case was sent to me by the amazing people at Red Wall Case. Huge thank you to them for sending this out for this review. This is a brand new release, the iPhone 7 Plus case. Features a crystal clear design with a TPU shock absorbing uh, corner. Another uh, new uh, lineup. If you see uh, just on the packaging alone, you have these uh, nice protective uh, corner guards. This is to add for extra drop protection and impact resistance. Just in case it were to land on the one of the corners, it wouldn't take a brutal force upon impact. So on the back you see some a few specs about the case. It has a tiny hump from the case to protect the camera lens. You also have quick easy access to all your ports and buttons. The transparent back allows you to easily view the display of your phone with the Apple logo and all the information. And it also has a scratch resistant coating. Now you have an interchangeable patented shock absorbent corner. You corners. can choose from a multitude of uh, corners to express your unique style with different colors and shapes. And you also get the raised ellipse, so that way you can place your phone face down without worrying about scratching the front of your now screen. Take a quick look inside the package and just see everything that this case has to offer. First inside we get a couple of extra accessories. These are some extra bumper guards, just in case you were to lose or misplace any of the ones. That are already included on the Next case. Next, we have uh, the case itself. As you can see, it has this very nice clear back, so that way the beauty of your iPhone that can shine through. Taking a look around the case, you will see on the camera hole you have a very uh, generous uh, cutout, which is nice uh, for your uh, dual camera and flash. However, I did wish uh, they would put a uh, black ring around to prevent any flashback or washback issues. So I'll make sure to take a picture with this uh, case on and uh, show you my results. On the uh, buttons, you'll see your lock button as well as your volume buttons are all completely cut out. So it's going to create a very natural feeling since you're going to be pressing the bu regular buttons themselves. For your silent switch, it is a little bit on the narrow side. So you might have uh, trouble accessing that. Especially if you don't have any nails to dig inside. On the bottom, you get a, a single piece of cutout for your lightning these port. These perforated holes for the two speakers on the both sides. Next, like I mentioned earlier, you do have these four corner guards. So if your phone drops on any one of the four corners, it's going to dissipate the shock throughout the whole case. Instead of hitting just the corner uh, directly. Now you will uh, see on the sides, it is slightly more rigid than most uh, silicone cases. So you can rest assured that you're getting a little bit extra protection if it were to land on one of the sides or the front. Let's take a look at what the case looks like with the phone already installed. Now to install, you just want to start with your button side first. Once you have everything aligned, just go over to the other side and snap it right into place. Now this uh, case is uh, kind of at the crossroads. It's not too loose, but it's also not too form-fitting as well. So you shouldn't have any problem, no matter what screen protector you use, whether it be a standard screen protector, tempered glass, or ones that go all the way out to the edges. Because as you can see, you have a little bit of a raised uh, lay on the table design. But I would definitely recommend using a screen protector for a full 360 protection. Next, uh, let's take a quick look at the bumper guards and uh, run a couple tests just to see how well they uh, stay on. So it looks like even with a heavy in around or slide out of place at all, so you can rest assured that you should be uh, good to go uh, once they're put into place. Next, uh, take a quick look at the buttons. You will see they are uh, very easy to get to with your volume buttons and your uh, lock button as well. I do want to point out your SIM card tray is covered up. So if you need to uh, replace the SIM, you will have to take the case off. And also uh, for docking, since it is uh, pretty flush uh, to the outside of the case, you should be fine with most uh, standard Apple uh, connectors, but as far as third party connectors go, you might have an issue. And the case uh, should be uh, very easy to 
take on and off without any oh, worries. I really like how slim and sleek this case is. It offers a great uh, deal of grip. And you can also see very high uh, glossy uh, design on the back. Now, I just want to make sure in preparation before putting on this case to just uh, wipe down your phone and the case itself. So that way you don't get any dust or debris underneath scratching the back of your phone. And that was my quick look at the iPhone 7 Plus case from the walk case with the corner guards. Once again, huge thank you to them for sending me this out for a review. If you want to pick one of these up, I'll leave a link in the description down below. They currently retail for $24.99 on Amazon, which is a pretty good deal, especially for such a sleek case with the extra corner protection. And if you liked the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more future videos like this. As always, thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.